this evening, we begin with a different kind of crime story. This is the video that got our attention, a car break-in near the popular San Francisco tourist spot, Twin Peaks. We decided to check out complaints from neighbors. We didn't know that one of our own reporters would become part of this story. Andrea Borba this evening at Twin Peaks to tell us what happened. Yeah, Neighbors on yeah, Twin Peaks yeah. say scenes like this one from December of car break-in after car break-in have been commonplace since the roads to the top were closed. This afternoon, the smash and grabs turned into armed robbery. You know, I was worried that this is what's going to happen because as thieves get more and more brazen, they do more and more brazenly things. And um, I'm not making that up. We just had that experience today. What the camera? I just kept my hands up like this. KPIX 5 reporter Don Ford was on the story yesterday and again today and was preparing to interview nearby homeowners when a white luxury sedan with four men inside pulled up. The car came up here while we were about to do an interview. Three guys jumped out. One had a gun, put it up to my face and said, we're taking the camera. Ford, a veteran journalist, said the whole encounter with a Glock in his face took less than a minute. My whole thought at the moment was, let's be calm. Let's not get this guy excited. He's got the gun. I don't. So you take the camera. It's yours, buddy. This homeowner stood very still as the scene unfolded in front of him. I just looked and I said, I'm not going to get shot today. No one was injured, but everyone was shaken. I'm not sure my adrenaline has settled down yet. The homeowner says safety of the neighborhood has to be addressed and a priority going forward. You want to have that for open space? We want that too. But protect us. We shouldn't pay the penalty and the price for, for that action that SFMTA caused upon us. Well, that was Andrea Borber reporting. As soon as San Francisco supervisor Rafael Mandelman heard about what happened to Don, he began tweeting saying it was ridiculous and unacceptable, but not unexpected in San Francisco. It's troubling. It's concerning. It was an extremely brazen crime, um, and it reinforces, I think, concerns that I'm hearing from my constituents in that area. Well, Mandelman says he is working to make sure the city adopts better strategies to stop repeat offenders.